everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Wednesday, August 24. And this is the Unia Graziads Pack by Hegestil, Hegesti Mods. Mm. Tongue's a little twisted today, as always. <clears throat> uh, 9.34 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. And our slot counts are quite small. As they are small implements, we have a small plow at three slots, the slightly less small plow at three slots, and a uh, spike, as it's called, which is basically a shallow cultivator at two slots. Now, where do we find these? Well, first of all, the plows, we'll look under there. And here they are, the uh, U021-1, $500, and the 02323 slash one uh, for a thousand and fifty dollars. <throat> they are both um, oh, 20 horsepower for the smaller one and 40 horsepower for the larger one. 0. 0.6 meters and 0. 0.9 meters. Uh, the larger one's slightly heavier. So let's um, let's just look at the larger one. They both have exactly the same. Um, uh, configuration so shearer no or yes it's just really that's just an cosmetic aesthetic spike handle you're going to want that um if you're going to trail the spike so it doesn't cost anything to actually have on it so you might as well just go ahead hey, look he's looking a little nervous is he is it he? he was shaking a little bit okay we're all good <clears throat> Uh, main colors, we have uh, old school type faded or grays or whatever. <laughs> and then the, uh, then you have a color change for the, um, the uh, spades. Uh, no extra charge for any of that except for the shearer. So that's kind of nice. Right, so where do we find the spike? The spike's going to be actually found down in miscellaneous, oddly enough. And there it is, <clears throat> $200 for that, 4 miles per hour. And uh, just, just the same kind of colors for the color choice. Let's make it, well, red. There you go. Right, so <clears throat> how does they all work? Uh, let's get our help window on here and start a tractor up. Since the horsepower rating is low, you only need something quite small <clears throat> to... Um, to push and pull them or, or well pull them around uh, so this has the uh, spike attacher on it so you need to L1 and X unfold it and that will stick out that attachment point now just um, well let's let's finish this first uh, you can uh, create fields allowed to create fields it is a plow and um, oh rotate tool oh so you can I missed that part mm, okay L1 and R1 with the right stick you can move that uh, orient that left or right and uh, what's the oh what's this <coughs> have some oops uh, up and down oh that puts that wheel down depth adjustment which really doesn't do anything but it's kind of neat uh, L1 R1 open crane tool right stick up and down that will raise and lower that um, this wheel here for depth adjustment <clears throat> right so you got the lower and raise so lowered as you can see let's see if that actually works yes it does however it's going to plow what it's going to plow it's really not going to plow shallower or deeper actually so interesting right okay so let's lift that back up now um let's unhook this for a second because the spike here can be hooked up to the tractor by itself like that and used as a teeny tiny cultivator 
Yes, indeed. Uh, we'll show you that. Let's unhook that. Let's hook up back the um, plow again. And as we back up here, we will hook up, and there it is. <clears throat> so it's always going to be on the ground. And as it goes, obviously, we can drag it around at high speed. Right. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, it's it's a little bit, uh, a little bit funny um, dragging that thing around. So uh, let's see, lower to the stop engine change right yeah so this uh, this is the larger one of the two and it has exactly those same adjustments <coughs> as the smaller one does raise and lower um, and adjust to le it's very slow though adjusting the right to left <coughs> right okay so let's um, I have these out in the field here uh, let's go to this one. This is uh, this is just the plow itself, all by itself, uh, nothing else on it, and um, using it manually, it's very small. Lower it down. Um, yes, yeah, so it's very tiny, uh, and unfortunately. Um, Let's lift that up. There we go. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the worker was doing a very terrible job of plowing uh, this. He'd be skipping stuff. He'd missing stuff. He'd like stop and zip ahead. And yeah, so not very encouraging uh, work ethic with this plow. I'm not sure why he's confused. Although, <clears throat> if we hop into our next... Uh, this is the one with the attachment, uh, so let's show you that anyways. So what this is, as you can see, it's already cultivating, sort of. Um, let's remove that and see. I just want to see something that's kind of interesting without the... Without the plow on there, because you can go pretty fast, but the uh, the cultivation is like it's bouncing around everywhere. And now, well, there you go. <clears throat> you can uh, you can cultivate your field as fast as you want with this. It's just a little bit spotty. As you can see, it's not very consistent. However, you can go as fast as you want with this spike pl uh, cultivator. <clears throat> right, okay, so... <laughs> if there's one bright spot in this whole mess, um, that could be it. Um, however, <clears throat> how this is supposed to work is very similar to we have a plow that has an attachment with the cultivator attachment. And what it's doing here is when you lower the plow, uh, lower the plow, there we go, it will plow uh, one strip and uh, cultivate the other so that when you come back, turn around to plow the next part, the cultivator goes and smooths out what you just plowed, right? Like so. Plowed, nice and smoothed out, cultivated. Right, so unfortunately we have a a very distinct pattern here that has occurred with the uh, worker and I let him go for quite some time while I was doing some other stuff <clears throat> and um, yeah um, so what seems to be happening with the worker here is uh, he sees this as already cultivated and he skips over and he goes on to the next. And so uh, how it is supposed to work, um, he the workers won't do it that way. Um, so you get this very pretty 
stripe pattern, um, pinstriping even, field pinstriping. It's actually very pretty. You could make, uh, probably uh, design a nice uh, U.S. Uh, uh, the stars, uh, the, the, the stars and stripes <laughs> from, uh, well, at least the stripes anyways. Um, so anyways, um, yeah, not, not so worker friendly. So that's, what's the problem? Um, if you want to do it yourself, uh, it works perfectly, um, as kind of really neat, uh, setup. Uh, but other than that, that's the, uh, Unia Graziets pack by Hageste mods, 9.34 megabytes to download. Uh, three slots each for the plow and two slots for the spike cultivator, which goes as fast as you can go. And, uh, yeah, not worker friendly. So, anyways, I'm Louie Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.